Hi ladies, um, I saw the hand dish uh, upload earlier and I thought I would give uh, my recipe a go. Um, initially what I've done is I've gotten uh, 120 grams of pran morsagur um, and I've melted it in 200 mils exactly of boiling water and then what I've done is I've added uh, 150 grams of rice flour and then 75 grams of plain flour and I've made this batter here um, now this is what my mum would say is a perfect consistency um, I've just been beating it with my hands I know a lot of people will say this is not nice but to get the right texture and right feel um, I think it's essential that you do it with your hands um, I have put a brand new wok of oil in. I don't know if this is an old wives tale, but my mum has always said if you're making handesh, always use a, wok, a newly washed wok um, with brand new oil. Um, so I've just put that on to heat and then I'll hopefully make some and show you. Okay, so now what I've done is I've poured um, the mixture using a ladle into a mug. You can use a teacup or anything that will be easy to pour into the oil. So let's give this a go now. Bismillah. Okay, now just leave it be. It will come up on its own. can just help it along with some oil on top but it should come up on its own um, you've just got to make the, make sure that the oil is not too hot um, I've got it on sort of uh, just after low and if you just carry on putting oil on top of it it should rise up There we are. Just com continue putting oil on top. Now this recipe I think does ensure that you get the little curvy edges around um, the hand dish which is always nice to look at. Um, and you've just got to let them brown and then if you turn them over they should be fine. Is that oil Emma? Yeah I'm making hand dish. Do you want some? No. <laughs> it's Gorom. It's Gorom, yeah. And I'm right. You are right, yeah. Be careful. Is it hot, Emma? Yeah. Just let it cook for a couple of minutes. That's not hot, Emma. No, the oven's not on. Is it hot, Emma? No, it's not hot. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> Move. Okay, and that's been cooking for a few minutes now, and I think it's done. So just take it out, drain the excess oil, and put onto some kitchen towel, and then move on to the next one. So here we are again.